This video is to give you a brief overview of the Pose library. Uh, it appears as a tab on the same side as the channel box. It is also uh, uh, dockable, so you can dock it on the left side, or if you need to, you could uh, dock it on the right side. Um, let's just leave it on the on the right side there. We have. Uh, an icon of what the pose should look like um, in the list of poses, so you can load poses, and delete poses, create new poses. Um, also, we have parents, so that um, you can have uh, body poses um, here, um, or you could have uh, specific facial poses here. Uh, if we get a little closer, we can look. Oh, eyes up, and we can bring it all home again. It's working fine. Uh, you could also do the same thing for hands. Um, so I'm going to look at the hands here, and we could uh, load that into a fist, or go into the home pose, uh, peace signs. Pointing and splay, uh, so you can create a whole swag of different poses and uh, differentiate them. Uh, when you create the poses, they uh, go into a folder. Um, in this case, in the project I'm running at the moment, is pose library. Um, under the data folder, we'll create a directory called poses, and all your poses will go into here. If you create subdirectory poses like I have here for Z, then the poses will go in here. So the top level Z has uh, Bendy and Home. See Bendy and Home. Um, and then we have the face poses or the hand poses. Uh, so that makes it really easy to copy around from place to place. So if you've made a whole lot of uh, poses for a particular character, you can. Um, just right-click and copy the uh, files across to uh, to its new uh, new home. Uh, but let's uh, start this from scratch. So we have nothing in here at all. Um, so when we click on our shelf, where we have our, we'll ask you whether you're going to be using the current project, like I am now, or you can uh, create a custom path. Uh, in this case, I'm going to create a custom path. Um, it's handy if you want to uh, um, put your poses in a central repository. Um, in this case, I'm just going to use my main directory. I'm going to create a folder called uh, pose lib. Uh, select that. And then I'm going to save and then set the directory. So now when I come to the pose library, it's completely empty. We do have a top level. Um, that's just showing you that's the top level of the uh, of the directory. And you can put poses in there if you're just uh, doing a quick thing and you want to uh, you don't want to bother with uh, multiple parents. So that you can do that. So um, let's have a quick look. Let's just uh, bend her over. Oh, actually, let's um, let's create a, a home pose so we can return to this. Um, so we'll just go. New pose, we'll call this home, we'll call this Z home, we'll create a new pose, and when it does that, it creates a little icon here. If you found that um, you had the wrong window selected, um, or it was in the, the wrong direction, um, you can just uh, select the pose, go delete pose, and then uh, create a new pose, and it will uh, redo your icon for you. Fine, so um, let's uh, let's pose Z. So let's, uh, let's grab a couple of these. And we'll bend it over, bend her over. Wiggle the arms across. Bend the elbow. Bend the elbow here. Back. Now let's um, drop 
down a little bit. Pick up one foot. And put some all off the toe. There we go. So um, I've got. Uh, don't need the keys in there. Um, it will save the anything that's not locked off in the uh, in the channel box. It will uh, will save. So um, let's call this balance. So we've got Z home. We'll go Z bal. And we'll create a new pose. And Z bal. So I can load home. And there we go. Pose. Ah, you do need to select all those bits and pieces. So I just lost that pose. Let's go back. All right. So now I've got that there. Um, I can delete that pose. I'm going to select all my controllers because um, it's based on where the controllers are and what their uh, channel box values are. Um, so I'll create a new pose there. And now I can load that pose, or load that pose. There we go. Cool. Let's bring it home. Um, so sometimes when you're working with a character, you want to have a collection of poses for um, specific areas, um, like the face and the hands. So um, let's create a new parent set. And I'll just call this Z. Parent set. There's no uh, nothing in there at the moment, so I'm just going to call this home. That's her base pose. I have all my controllers selected, so that's all right. Um, in fact, I could uh, copy a pose from our top level, keep our our balance pose, load that up, and then I'll come into Z here, and I'll just call it balance. And that becomes my new pose. So there's that there. Load pose. Load pose. So um, I would keep this top level for uh, body poses. Um, and then we can go into do some um, some specific ones. So if I have Z selected here as my parent, I can come in here and go face. And that will create a new parent space. Now let's come back to this one here, and we'll load our home, so we're back in a neutral position, um, Z face. So I'm going to use the character picker here to select my controls there on her face, and then I'll create a new, I'm going to make sure my parent is correctly selected. Um, I'll create this new one, home, and we have a new pose there called home. Um, now I can um, open wide. I want to come back here. If I select that here, I can select all my controllers, um, or I could still use the character picker here. Just pick the uh, bottom of the face there, and I'll call this oh, new pose, oh, and home, and we'll load that, and load that, and it works fine. Uh, we could do things like um, let's come in here and we'll create a new one called hands. Make that a new parent. I'm going to come and select my hands. So I'm going to select all my fingers and thumb, and then I'm going to make this. Home pose for my hand, and actually, I'm going to move around so I can uh, see all my fingers clearly. 
and then I'll make that my new pose. And that's my new pose for my hand. Um, now I can come in and let's make a fist, shall we? So curl in those, curl in the thumb. Now I want to make sure that when I save my pose, um, it's saving all the individual finger uh, elements, so I can come back to my pose library and I can select my controls. Um, and I'll call this one Fist. Yeah, new pose called Fist. Your home. Load the pose. Fist. Load the pose. Um, and we can keep working through that way. You may have noticed there's a search and replace function here. So if we have a look at the naming convention for here, we've got Z uh, as the namespace and then L for left and then underscore. So um, I should be able to come in here and L underscore, I'm going to replace that with R underscore, which is the other side. Um, select my pose, which is fist, and the doink. It's doing that. And if you want, you can use that to select the controller as well. A nice thing about Morphe is um, the only thing different between uh, one character brought in and another is their namespace. So if I my reference editor and I'll bring in C. And of course she's arrived um, she's arrived a middle in the middle of everything so I'll just um, move her off to one side back a little bit okay so the only difference in naming between C and Z is um, is the namespace on the front here so I can use this to do the, exactly the same thing. So if I um, go Z colon, and I'm going to replace that with C colon, I can pass the poses for Z onto C. Um, I can put that on the left side. And now she's got fists there. Same with the face. I can select that and go pose. Um, uh, all right, so there's no there's no left and right, of course, with uh, the middle bit, and there she is. And uh, that is the pose library.